Hey everyone, welcome to Techno Cafe. I am Ruth Chevres, your host on this channel. This is the fourth video in the Apple Notes app series. I am including the links for the previous videos in the description. In this video, you learn how to sort notes, use gallery view, move folders using drag and drop, and change the text format. So let's start. Another way of organizing your notes is sorting them by dates or titles. You can have sort methods selected on individual folders, or you may select a default sorting method for all of your notes. First, let's see how to sort notes on individual folders. Open the Notes app, go to the folder that you want to sort, tap on the More button located on the top right side of the screen, Tap on the Sort Notes by option. By default, all notes are sorted by the last day they were edited. But you can change this to sort by date created or by title. If you choose to sort by title, you can further sort them in ascending or descending alphabetical order. In the same manner, if you choose to sort by date created, you can add another sorting filter to sort them by oldest to newest or vice versa. I am going to select date created and add oldest to newest. Now, let's see how to select a default sorting method for all of your notes. Go to settings, tap on notes, Tap on Sort Notes by, then choose the method you want to use to sort all of your notes. Done! Gallery View is a new easy way of viewing your notes. To change from List View to Gallery View, open the Notes app, go to the Folder screen and open a folder, tap on the More button located on the top right side of the screen, then Tap on the View as Gallery option. To change it back to List View, tap again on the More button and tap on the View as List option. In the Notes app series video numero 3, I explain two different ways on how to move notes. If you haven't seen the previous videos, on this notes app series, I highly recommend that you do. Remember, you can find the links at the end of this video or in the description. You love all the useful tricks. Let's continue. Another way of moving folders is by using drag and drop to move the folders or to create sub folders. This is pretty straightforward. Let's see how. Open the folder screen and press down on the folder and drag it to the new location on the list. If you want to create a subfolder, drag the folder onto another folder. New subfolders will be hidden from view until the parent folder is opened. Notes allows you to change the format of the text. You can apply different formats like a heading style, change regular text to bold or to italics, and you can create a bullet or number list. Let's see. Open the Notes app, tap to open the note, tap anywhere inside the note to display the keyboard. On top of the keyboard, you'll see the A icon. Tap on the A icon. To change the format of the written test, put the cursor at the beginning of the sentence and tap on the format you want to use. To apply bold, italic, underline, or strike through to a specific word or sentence, select them and tap to apply the desired format. To create bullet or number list, Select the area and tap on the desired bullet option. And lastly, you can indent specific sentences or paragraphs. To do this, 
select the sentence or paragraph and tap on the desired indent option. To save the note, tap Done. Easy peasy, now your notes look more polished. Last tip on this format section is that you can choose a default style for the first line in all of your future notes. How? Go to Settings and swipe down. Tap on Notes. Tap on New Notes Start With and select the option you want to start all of your notes. From that moment, all your notes will automatically start with the selected format. I hope that this video series demonstrated that the Notes app is a great tool to be more productive in your daily life and that you'll start using it on a regular basis like I do. Please comment if you're applying what you learn or share any tricks that you already use. I'd love to read your insights. Remember, if you like this video, like, subscribe and share with your friends and family. See you in the next one!